It is the wake up call on BBC Radio Kent. So have a look if you're on any of Kent beaches. See what you can find. <laughs> Okay, so some pretty strange things have been happening during lockdown. You'll be well aware as we try and entertain ourselves. Not all of them involve the video conferencing, streaming bot sets and the latest technology. Oh, no. One Kent company has delved into the past to revitalise a competition that you might remember from the 1970s. In fact... In the 1970s, it attracted a peak of 3 million players a week. Spot the ball. Do you remember that? Yeah? Well, there's an online version now. It was launched a couple of weeks ago by Charing-based company Balls Out. It's already given lots and lots of prizes to eagle-eyed winners, and I'm really pleased to say that William Eldridge from the firm joins us now. William, good morning. What gave you the idea to revive Spot the Ball? Oh, good morning to you. Um, we just thought that uh, it's been a long time coming, this uh, from the 70s and the 80s, Spot the Ball, uh, which was, of course, in uh, the national newspapers. And we thought yep. it would be a great idea to bring it into the 21st century and uh, let people try their luck at winning some fantastic prizes. <laughs> so what form does it take then? So this is all digital, it's all online. Yes, yeah, so some people may remember back in the day, either themselves or their parents, their grandparents, playing Spot the Ball in a newspaper. What we've done is with Balls Out, we've taken it, we've digitalised it, and we've turned it into an online Spot the Ball football game and bringing it into the 21st century, basically. So it's all <laughs> online and a lot more accessible and enjoyable for people to play. OK, so if someone hasn't played, it doesn't remember it from the 70s, then uh, what are the rules? It's, uh, yeah, it's quite simple, really. Basically, the mm -hmm. player um, will be shown an image of a football match and the football has been removed from said image. Uh, uh, all the player needs to do is use their his or her skill to determine where they think the centre of the ball is on the image, click to mark their coordinate or take their shot, and hopefully their shot is the closest to the winning coordinate. So it's not so much spot the ball as sort of guess where the ball was? It's more it's yeah. more of a skill-based than a guess-based game. Yeah. Because, um, yeah. obviously, we then get to judge the winner uh, in the end, and then that winning coordinate is, wins the prize they played for. So who gets to judge it? Yeah, so we've uh, we've been working with some uh, pretty famous faces, actually. Uh, a few little football name drops here. Um, we've, uh, <laughs> so we've already worked with uh, former England captain Terry Butcher, oh. um, with Lee Hendry, who was part of Harry's Heroes recently, and uh, World Cup winner Ozzy Ardiles, who will be well known with Tottenham Hotspur supporters. Um, and then we are judging on Monday and we've got uh, Ray Parler, former Arsenal midfielder. Uh, we've oh. got Emil Heskey and we've got Gabby of Bonlahor from Aston Villa. So we've got some sort of big names who are getting involved and uh, enjoy the game themselves and are enjoying what balls out are trying to do. Amazing. I suppose, you know, you say it's skills based, which of course it is, but you can, anyone can play, can't they? You can just simply have a guess. That's it. Yeah, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to know the offside rule. Um, all you need to do <laughs> Should is, do, by the uh, way. yeah, yeah. <laughs> which uh, that, oh, I have no doubt. Uh, all you need to do is uh, click on the image uh, where you think the centre of the ball is. I mean, there's sometimes on the images little indicators, you know, where the players are looking or uh, the shadow of the ball. And um, like you say, you don't need to be a football expert if you just fancy winning some prizes, if you just fancy playing an online game you know entertain yourself especially at these times when entertainment is uh, few and far yeah. to come by um, <laughs> it's it's the uh, it's the game to play I love it. You know, we're delving back into the 70s to entertain ourselves right now at the same time as our haircuts also have gone back to the 70s. So it's kind of con congruous. <laughs> oh, man, it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, listen, thank you for uh, bringing us the joy that is Spot the Ball with Balls Out. That's William Elbridge there from Balls Out, the charity based company. They've reintroduced the, uh, the county to Spot the Ball after it. It sort of fell by the wayside didn't it but it's back and bouncing quite literally <laughs> so you can go and join in with that this weekend it is the wake up call on bbc radio kent it's up past seven right now let's get the latest news with claire